Welcome to Big Ten in 10 with Big Ten Women's Soccer as we're joined by all 14 coaching staffs for the Big Ten Women's Soccer and a distinguished alumni from each program. And in the case of the Wisconsin Badgers, not only a great player for Wisconsin, one of the all-time greats for the Big Ten, but in my view at the last World Cup, the greatest player in the World Cup for the USA as we're talking about the head coach, Paula Wilkins, the great Rose Lavelle. I'm Dean Linky, joined by all Big Ten superstar and a member of the Red Stars, Kayla Sharples. Thank you all for being with us. All right, Paula, obviously Rose Lavelle has changed the game for you and Wisconsin. So let's start with that. When you think Rose Lavelle, what do you think? I think funny. I think uh, entertaining. I think um, prankster. I think um, uh, uh, challenging. Um, but I think very good person. So those are sort of my adjectives. How about the soccer playing part? What do you think? Pretty, pretty good. I, I think creative. Um, I think, <laughs> you know what? I, uh, I was watching the, the games this, uh, for the NWSL and I thought one of the most impressive things by Rose is if you ever watch her recovery runs, sometimes they're pretty incredible. I think, uh, I know she scored against in the world cup game, but, uh, there were two recovery runs that she made against, uh, the Dutch that were phenomenal. So uh, I think if you talk to young players, you don't talk about just what you do on the ball, um, but what you're doing off the ball to help your team. And uh, I know I helped to create that because she had to defend a lot at Wisconsin. <laughs> so we always joke about that. <laughs> Paula, speaking from personal experience, playing Wisconsin was always a challenge. You guys are consistently one of the top programs in the Big Ten. And how have you built that culture and maintained that consistency year after year? Um, well, I start with, with players like Rose who've kind of created the culture there. But I think we talk about just the details that we have to do all the time and just principles that we're building on. Um, and the players have done a great job of building a culture, kind of an expectation of what they want to bring. Um, I, I give it to them and then they kind of format it. But I was even talking about this past week, um, how the older players just create such a great environment. And, you know, we have good players like Rose Lavelle there that if every day you're training against Rose Lavelle, you know, when you play against somebody else, it's not as hard, um, not to insult other people, but you know, you can, if you can defend Rose and you can defend a lot of people um, pretty well. So I think just the training environment they've created also and the expectations they have in that training environment um, are, is, is pretty high to help that consistency for us. Rose, you can't escape us as we keep coming back to you. <laughs> we did that extended piece with the Big Ten Network earlier, and I know you and Paula like to joke, but what is it about when Paula calls or the Big Ten Network calls, you always want to be involved? I mean, I think just because my experience at Wisconsin was so incredible that it's something that I love to talk about. Um, I think it was just such a huge part of my life, both on and off the field. I think I grew so much as a player, but then – um, in the same sense, it's like you gain more independence when you're in college. And um, I just, I had a great time and I met a lot of awesome people. So I, any opportunity I can have to talk about it, um, I'll jump on. Rose, you and Paula seem to have such a special relationship. Obviously through this conversation, <laughs> we've hinted at that. Um, one of mutual respect and trust. Can you recall a specific memorable moment, uh, coaching moment in particular that you and Paula shared? I think the biggest thing with Paula is like, I feel like she always knew what was best for me, even when I didn't necessarily know it at the time for myself. Um, so I think back to my senior year, it's not the, it's not the story you're going to think I'm telling, but I just oh. think of, I had to play holding mid um, and I was not happy about it because I want to be in the attack and be like creating things, not necessarily defending as much. Um, but Paula put me in that role and I feel like I kind of, um, threw a little tantrum for a second, <laughs> but I think over time, like I grew into the position and I feel like that's where I like really learned how to defend. And like, I always say, I don't feel like I fully knew how to sprint until I played holding mid my senior year because <laughs> I just had to run so much. Was there a defining moment in your collegiate career where you knew you wanted to play professionally? I mean, honestly, I wouldn't say that happened like in college, I think it's something that I always had wanted to do, but I think um, going to Wisconsin helped me grow so much. So I was able to like get to that point. It's kind of one of those things that I'm like, oh my gosh, where would I be right now if I had made like a different decision and went somewhere else? And I'm like so grateful that 
um, I visited Wisconsin and I had Paula and Tim um, to help me like grow those four years and the, my teammates as well. I think um, it, it was such a great experience. Rose, you may, I think you know this, maybe you don't, but Paula is in rare company where as a player, she made it to the college cup as a coach, she made it to the college cup. That's pretty legit. Uh, we'll start with you, Paula. That, that's an amazing feat. Your thoughts. And then Rose, you're not going to be able to get away from not compliment her on that feat. <laughs> um, I, I think I, I always say it's because I had good players, right? I kind of got out of their way. So, um, as a player doing it, uh, I had Brianna Scurry behind me. So as a goalkeeper, I think she saved my butt a bunch of times. I always say I made Brianna Scurry as good as she did because I was a terrible <laughs> defender and she had to make so many saves that she got to be very good. Um, so I think that's pretty exciting. And like I said, I just have the good players. Paula's so humble. I mean, she's, she's never gonna like take any credit herself, but obviously that's like a huge feat to be able to do that as a player and then also do that as a coach. She always just, blames it on everyone else around her and never takes credit herself but I mean I never saw her play soccer so I can't say how she was as a player but um as a coach you see I mean, kick I... my left foot <laughs> can you no oh <laughs> um but I mean as a coach I think she just makes every player better and you grow so much and learn so much from her I'm always like so grateful when I go into my professional environments because I feel like I had such a good like base of tactical knowledge because of um Paula and yeah I I think yeah it helps to have good players but she's a great coach and that's why Wisconsin's had so much success. Looking back how did you identify your weaknesses or was there a specific part of your game that you knew that you had to improve upon and how did you go about that? Um, I mean, I think the biggest, my biggest weakness, and it's still something that I like have to work on, um, is like off field, like nutrition and making sure that I'm like staying healthy and all that. I think that was like the biggest adjustment jumping from college to pro is like, now this is your job and you can't let those things like slip through the cracks. Um, and it's definitely like a learning process and something that I can always like be better at. Um. I think that's like the biggest weakness I had to address, um, especially my senior year. Paula forced me to. We got in a fight. <laughs> Big 10 and 10, Wisconsin women's soccer. Paula Wilkins, the great Rose Lavelle. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you, guys.